Hi, welcome to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 5-37 from RC Hibala Engineering Static 12 edition. According to the problem, we have the wooden plank resting between the buildings that deflects slightly when it supports the 50 kg coil. We have to find WA and WB, the maximum intensities of the distributed loading. So to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw all the forces. So I have the weight of the boy which is acting downwards like this. Let's mark it. This is 50 into 9.81. Now I have to find the resultant of these two distributed loadings. So for the consider triangle at point A. If you look at the figure, this is a right angle triangle. So if I want to find the resultant of this distributed loading which has a shape of a triangle, then I have to find the area of the triangle. So FA is equals to area of the triangle, this triangle. So area of the triangle, right angle triangle is equals to half into length. Length is 0.45 meters into the altitude. The altitude here is WA, the maximum intensity. So this is, let's call this equation 1. Now I have to find the location of this FA force. So I have to find the centroid of this triangle. centroid of the triangle is equals to 1 over 3 from the thicker end from this end. So 1 over 3 times the base which is 0 0.45 0 0.45 so it is equals to 0 0.15 meters. So the force Fa the resultant of this distributed fitting will look something like this. If I remove this one like this. Like this. And it is at 0.15 meters from WA. Similarly, I have to do the same procedure for the resultant of the triangle at P. So consider triangle at point P. Now FP is equals to area of that triangle, the small one half into the length which is 0 0.3 into the altitude which is WB. Also the let's call this equation 2. We have to find the centroid which is equals to 1 over 3 from the thicker end. So the length is 0 0.3. So it is 0 0.1 meters. The force FB will look like this. This is FP and it is at 0 0.1 from WB. So now we have found the centroids and we have to find the WA and WB. So we can apply the equation of equilibrium. So our first equation will be there are no forces in the horizontal direction. So we will not use some of the forces in the horizontal in the horizontal direction equals to zero. We will use the equation equilibrium. Sum of the forces in the y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So I have 
एफ ए प्लस एफ बी माइनस दिस वेट फिफ्टी इंटू नाइन पॉइंट एट वन इक्वल्स टू जीरो नाउ आई कैन राइट दिस एफ ए एंड एफ बी इन टर्म्स ऑफ दीज टू इक्वेशन सो फ्रॉम हियर एफ ए कैन बी रिटर्न एज हाफ ऑफ पॉइंट फोर फाइव डब्ल्यू ए प्लस हाफ पॉइंट थ्री डब्ल्यू बी equals to 490.5 let's call this equation a now there are two constants involved so we need one more equation our second equation is sum of the moments equals to 0 i am considering clockwise moment as positive now we have to select the point for sum of the moments so i am considering this point if i zoom in this point where f a force is located let's call this point a so i am summing the moment at point a so with respect to point a f a force will not produce any moment because it is passing through it so there is no moment arm this weight is producing the moment in clockwise direction so it is positive similarly this fp force is producing the moment but in counter clockwise direction so it is taken as negative if i put in the values at a weight which is 490.5 into the moment arm the moment arm is 3 and 0.15 meters this distance so in total 3.15 meters negative the fb force which is half point 3 wb into the moment arm the moment arm is 0.1 meter 6 meters 3 meters and this 0.15 meters this distance so in total 9.25 meters equals to 0 from here wb is equal to 1113.6 newtons per meter so if you put this value into this equation in this equation then you can get the value of wa which is 1437.6 newtons per meter so this is the answer to this problem i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates